Trudy, we've, we're here at the launch of uh, what is the first Chatterbox Cafe. Yeah. Uh, it's going really well with lots of people here. Uh, why is an event like this or a project like this so important? I, um, I've been leading a recovery project at South West George Partnership Trust. And I do, I have my own health and wellbeing company and I'm a nurse. And I got involved with Rootsville University around recovery and lecturing and mental health. And Andrew Clifton came to chat to me a year and a half ago about the Chatterbox Cafe and would I be on the board of directors and would I look at setting one up and work with him and I'm so passionate about it and I said yeah. Um, I myself have had postnatal depression when my son was born 23 years ago and if there'd have been somewhere like this where I could connect and engage and be with people and not be isolated, I'm sure it would have helped me. So that this cafe, is for the local people in Huddersfield, whether you've got mental health issues or not, whether you've got a learning disability or a physical disability, or you're just lonely and isolated. Um, my husband died in January this year, suddenly, at 53, and, and this is another recovery phase for me. So I guess people that are bereaved would access somewhere like this where they could meet other people that are similar situation. Yeah. Because, um uh, it's uh, documented that one in four people yeah. suffer from yeah. some form of uh, mental health yeah. difficulty. Yeah. Um, how does talking help? Is it just good, the release? I, I, is think, it? I think it's not just the talking, it's the listening and the connections that you can make with people. And often you might chat to somebody in a bar and you might find that you've got a similar interest and you might meet up and pursue that interest and you've made a friend and whether that lasts or whether it doesn't, you've made some kind of connection that adds something to your life. It's better to be together with people rather than to be isolated on your own and be really lonely and really sad and think that there's no future. And I think this offers people opportunities. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.